Hello, this is Sir Mohsen Azhar Khan, your CF instructor. In today's video, I'm going to highlight the changes that CF has brought in. And there are major six changes that CF is evolving into in 2024 examination and 2025 examination. Some of the changes are significant, whereas some of the changes are minor ones. Especially for CFA level 3 examination in 2025, there is a big change coming up, which I feel is a good change. So let's start off with those changes first. Number one change, which was already announced, which is called expanded eligibility, that now candidates or graduated students who have entered their third year of graduation can also sit for CFA level one examination. This was already announced early on. Next new change is called hands on learning. Now CFA is bringing a practical skills module in your CFA examinations in which you will get knowledge about practical elements of the industry such as financial modeling, such as Python, such as artificial intelligence and others. So CFA is bringing a flavor of practicality in your CFA curriculum. Such practical uh, modules will not be testable. The procedure will be as such that first you will give your CFA exam or you have to opt for the practical skill module before the result of your CFA exam. So CFA will offer you some videos about the practical skill module such as for Python which will be based for 10 to 15 hours. You will have to, it will be obligatory on you to must go through the entire practical skill module before the release of your examination result. Otherwise your examination result will not be released. And there will be a different practical skills model available from CFA for you. Obviously, because of the introduction of practical skills module, the preparation time will might go up than 300 hours bracket. Because early on, CFA used to believe that 300 hours is more than enough for your CFA examination. And for that purpose, in order to maintain your preparation time within 300 hours, they have brought the third change. Which is, called focus, which is called focused curriculum, meaning that CFA will be deleting some very basic topics in their curriculum which are, because they believe as students are coming from their graduation, they know few of the basic items such as time value of money, such as uh, certain basics of microeconomics and others. So that those areas will no longer be testable in CFA examination and they would be substituted by the practical skill module that you will have to cover up in order to get your CFA examination result. I repeat, practical skill module will not be testable, it will not be graded, but you will still have to undertake it, you will have to undergo it so that you can receive your examination result. I believe this is a very good change because this will bring up practicality skills as well and these but practical skills model will be available for each level, level 1, level 2 and level 3 examinations. Fourth change they are bringing up is a practice pack which will offer additional 1000 practice questions which will offer additional 6 mocks by the CFA body which is also a good sign that they are bringing up further practice questions because CFA believes that practice makes the result of a candidate even better. Even the CFA portal already have numerous questions for practicing, but still they will be bringing this practice pack which will be optional for you to take it and it will have a price on it. The price right now mentioned on their website is $300 for which you will get this package or $299. You might check their website for it. Again, this is an optional pack. It, it's up to the candidate whether he feels the need of it. He can pay that price and get that option back for him. So the good thing is they have given an option for you. If someone wants to practice more, he can more, he or she can further practice more. However, I believe with that uh, price tag, I feel there can be a certain more discount because already a candidate is paying a heavy amount for CFA examinations. So I feel the price tag could be lower down in future. Now coming to a significant change, which is of CFA level three. For CFA level 3 examination, especially in 2025, CFA is going to be offering three pathways now. Before this, 
CFA used to offer just one pathway, which was traditional portfolio management. So basically in level three, candidate used to specialize themselves in traditional portfolio management. Now further two pathways will also be available for their specialization, such as private markets, private investments. So now students or candidates of level three will have three pathways to choose from and they can specialize in that pathway. Irrespective of whichever pathway you choose, the 70% of the course of the level three will remain common whether you choose pathway one, pathway two or pathway three. But the 30% of the syllabus content will depend on your chosen pathway. This way, candidate in level three can choose the pathway in which they have more interest or in which they want to expand their career, they want to grow more. In case you have already chosen a pathway, and you pass the exam with that chosen pathway. Later on, you want to switch your career and you want to study the other pathway as well. So the content will be available from CFA. You can do your continuing learning. You will no more have to give the CFA level three examination for that. So overall, if I see last change also is coming up, which is the improvement in the digital badging of CFA level one pass candidates and CFA level two pass candidates. For those candidates who have already passed CFA level one, or level two, they can now portray their success, portray their achievement in a better manner with a digital badge, which was available early on as well. But now they are bringing certain improvements into it so that employers value you more than before, which is also a good improvement. Overall, if I if I comment on the changes that CF has brought up, first change, which was the expanded eligibility, I believe that's a very good step by CF because. Uh, they, obviously, if you have allowed the student to sit for the exam in the fourth year, then there's no harm allowing it to sit in the third year as well because this way student can manage his or her degree and CFA level 1 qualification in a better manner. Number one. Number two, hands-on learning, the practice skills model, I feel this is a very good step by CFA, especially they're going to give you knowledge about Python, uh, financial modeling, especially for several uh, CFA level 1 candidates. For level two candidates, it will go to uh, it will expand towards uh, AI, artificial intelligence, and other topic areas as well. Uh, but uh, they they are lodging behind the third change, which is focus curriculum, in which they are cutting down some basic elements. Uh, this will uh, I feel may work in level two, but in level one, there are many candidates who do not have a financial background. So irrespective whether they're cutting down some area which won't be testable anymore, but they will be providing it as a supplementary material. So I feel student will have to go through that basic material as well. And the time of preparation CFA might, you know, a bit increase from 300 hours. It might go to 350 hours because now he has also a burden to go through the practice skills models. However, it's a good thing that CFA has not kept those practice skills models testable or gradable. So that fatigue will not be on the student. Regarding the practice pack, I really don't feel it's it's a very you know a significant change or I can say it's a very you know evolutionary change because practice pack you're offering on a very huge price as per my opinion, $300 for additional 1000 questions only and for just six mocks, we have many other you know preparation, certified preparation who already preparation centers who already provide their own good content. So I feel the price could be lower down and such change is not going to take, it won't be a big deal for the candidates. Whereas for level three, I feel that's a very good change, a significant change. This will allow more candidates having expertise in different areas. This will, this will allow them to evolve more and definitely this will enhance the credibility of CFA organization. And the last change of digital badging. Again, as I said, it's an improvement. There was already a digital badge before as well. So it's a kind of an improvement or we can say kind of a promotion that there are digital badges for CFA level one, level two candidates. I hope this video will clear your doubts about the changes that CFS come up and you might have got my opinion as well on that. Thank you.